here. And the gist of it boils down to this. Um, if you have this, 0 0.3, you can add as many zeros at the end of that and not change really what it means. In other words, this, 0 0.3 equals the same as 0 0.30, equals 0 0.300, equals 0 0.3000, equals 0 0.3000. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay? Now, those really aren't the same number, but they equal the same thing. Okay? And because if I ask Jaden Shute to read this number for me, come on, Jaden, I'll say it's, it's the, how, how hard can I be? 0.3. No, no, no. I want it written in, said in, said in mathematical words. I don't want just 0.3 with six zeros after. Like, this is 3 tenths. This is. Three thousand? Huh? No, none of these are three thousands. This one's thirty thousands. This is three hundred ten thousandths. This one is three thousand ten thousandths. This one is three hundred thousand millionths. Okay, and for that reason, James Shute, when there are zeros at the end of decimals, we make it as simple as can be, and we always scratch them off, get rid of them, and just, this is the form we're going to use. Three tenths is the same exact thing as 300,000 millionths. It means the same amount, but we always do the simplified version of it, because otherwise it gets way too confusing to read and to figure out. Okay, so when they tell you to simplify the decimal, they're asking you, you just get rid of the ending zeros. You can't get rid of a zero in the middle of something. You can't change that into third point three one because that is not the same. Okay, zeros have to hold down places there, but if there was an ending zero there, you could. Now, sometimes though, you want to add zeros in order to be able to look at decimals and to compare them. For example, if I gave you this problem and asked you to compare um, zero point three one compared to 0 0.039, which one of those is bigger? Keith? 0 0.31. 0 0.31, but isn't this 39? No, it's 39. Okay, and that's when putting zeros in to take up places would help you understand this. Let's say I put a zero here. Then it makes it a little bit more clear because this is now after the decimal 310. This after the decimal is 39. Same decimal places after there. This is bigger. Or the other way to look at it is like this. You look at the decimal place. You with me, Joe? It helps if you're looking this way if you're with me. You look at the decimal place. What's the first digit after the decimal here? A three. What's the first digit after the decimal there? A zero. Once you get to that, it's already, this is bigger. No matter what comes after it, this is going to be, no matter what comes after this, this is going to be bigger than because there's a three in the tenths place and there's a zero in the tenths place. All of these digits are all much, much smaller than all the rest of it. So a couple other examples of that might be, uh, how about this one? Comparing 0 0.4 compared to 0 0.40. Which one is bigger, Grace Christ? 0.4. Is bigger? No, 0.40. Is bigger? Thank you. Because when you put the zero after that, it's 0 0.40 compared to 0 0.40. I knew we'd get it after enough questioning there. Uh, how about this one? 12.5 compared to 1.25. Twelve point five compared to 1.25. It's a tough one there. Elijah says. Yeah. First thing you look at is always the whole number. If the whole number is bigger, you don't have to worry anything about the decimal because it isn't going to matter. 12 is bigger than 1 always and forever. <laughs> well, I thought that was exciting. Yeah. One last one. 
I'll have you do this one for me, please. Put these numbers in order from least to greatest. 0 0.12, uh, 0 0.125, 0 0.015 and 0 0.2. Le order them from least to greatest. Smallest to biggest. The one you least like to have as money and the one you most like to have as money. Biggest to smallest. And probably the way you should think about it is since all of these, these have three digits after the decimal, maybe you should rewrite them so they all have three digits after the decimal. Of those, what, which one is the smallest? 120, 125, 15, or 200? Elijah, the smallest is? 0 0.015. 0 0.015. After that, then the next biggest would be? 120, 125, or 200? Keith says? 120, or 0 0.12 as it's written in. Then the next biggest one, what's bigger, 0.125 or 0.2? Which one is bigger? Brooklyn. What's bigger? This one or that one? 0.2 or 0 0.125? Is bigger or smaller? Which one would come next in my order of least greatest? 0 0.125. 125 or 200, yeah. 0 0.125 and then 0 0.125. 